Good morning. Uh, welcome to Geo's Wannabe Cooking Show. My name is George Daniels. I'm the executive chef of the Hi Hat in Providence, Rhode Island. But you know, everybody calls me Geo. Uh, this morning we're going to make a little omelet. My wife's upstairs, just got out of the shower. And we're going to make her an omelet for breakfast. Uh, we have some sautéed mushrooms, red peppers, a little bit of uh, shredded cheddar cheese, got a little banana sliced on the, ba on the plate. Uh, there's some bacon chilling in the oven ready for it and some toast over here. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by cracking a couple of eggs into the bowl here. It's done. And we're going to put a nice big pat of butter in the pan. Uh, even though it's a non-stick pan, you want to Add a little butter to it for not only to help it lubricate the pan but also for the flavor. Okay, to our eggs, we're gonna add just a splash of water. The water helps the eggs, the omelet, be a little more fluffy. A lot of people put uh, a lot of people put cream in their eggs, but that's more if you're doing scrambled eggs. If you're doing an omelet, you want to go in with the water. That will give you a nice fluffier omelet. And you just want to lightly mix that. You don't want to really bang this up too much. Here we go, my eggs are ready. Our butter is nicely melted. Just want to make sure the pan's coated like that. You can hear a nice sizzle. And we are ready to go in. Got like a medium heat on this. When you're doing eggs, you don't want to get too hot. You don't want the flame too high. You don't want your eggs to, uh, to burn. Nothing worse than a burnt egg. Okay, eggs are in the pan. You want to season our eggs, very important. Just a little bit of kosher salt. And of course, some fresh cracked pepper. Okay, and now that my eggs are in the pan, I'm going to put the toast down. Okay, when you see the edges are starting to cook, you just want to go in. And what you want to do is kind of lift the edge and let the uncooked egg run underneath it. Like so. You're doing two things here. A, you're speeding your cooking time because the egg on top is what's going to take the longest to cook, of course. So you want to try to get that on the bottom, but you're also making sure your egg is released from the pan because we're going we're gonna to flip this. So If it's not released from the pan, you're going to be in trouble, but we look like we're in good shape here. Get maybe that last little bit underneath like that. There we go. And let's see how good I am. Let's see if I can get this flip for you. Ta-da! That's pretty good. You want to go right in with your fillings. Let's go in with the cheese. Like I said, this is just, I think, a little shredded cheddar and Monterey Jack mix. Uh, with our sautéed mushrooms. And our sautéed red peppers. Of course, you know, it's an omelet. You can put anything in that you like. Uh, normally the best thing to use is like if you got a little something left over from the night before. Okay. Now what we can do, we can do a tri-fold omelet. So here we go with the first fold. You want to go like that. First fold is you want to let it go down on your plate like so. And flip it right over. And that, with the toast popping up right on cue, is how you make an omelet. It's right there, let's go into our oven. We got a little bacon chilling for it here. Just put that on the plate. Oh, the piece fell off, it's got to be mine. A little toast. Put some spread. Mm -hmm. I like making breakfast for my baby. She takes good care of me, so I don't mind doing things for her. And. Put your toast on the plate. So, there you have it. How to make a omelet for your girl. 
My name is Gio. I hope you enjoyed another installment of Gio's Wannabe Cooking Show. And remember, have fun with your food out there, people, and peace out.